Okay, in this video, challenge four, I'm going to show you how to add a glitter effect to your text. So you're going to open Pixlr, you're going to create a new full HD document, you're going to use the text tool to write your word, and then you're going to customize the text to your liking. So it says in this challenge, choose a word that's meaningful to you or a word you say often. Keep it school appropriate, please. Okay, so we're going to go over here, we're going to create new. Um, make sure you choose full HD, and I think I'll just call it glitter. I think, it's, I think I spelled that wrong. All right, there we go. And I'm going to click create. I'm going to click on my text tool and add text. And I typed the word family in all capitals. You don't have to use all capitals if you don't want to. Um, try to use the text, but you know, a font that, you know, I guess it's thick enough that um, when you add the glitter background, you're going to be able to see it um, in the letters. Okay, so something a little bit thick and wide. Uh, should we try this mullet? There we go. And then I'm also changing mine to white because it doesn't matter. We're going to have the glitter effect on it anyway, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to adjust the size and make it bigger. Let's see. Let's see if that's too big. I'm gonna, yeah, that's too big. All right. So let's go a little bit smaller here. Let's go back to T for text. And I guess 730 is a little too much. So 575. Good enough. Okay, and I'm going to leave everything else the same. Well, I guess I can space it out a little bit. I don't want it to go off the page though, so. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm going to move it so it's on the center of my um, background. So again, use those purple guides and that will help you. All right, so, uh, oh, that was what step five told me to do, use the guidelines to drag it to the center. Um, we're gonna rasterize to convert to pixels, just like we did on the last exercise. So layer, rasterize layer, okay? And we are on step seven, add an image layer and choose a glitter image. So you have to go to Google first, find an image and save it. I already Googled an image, um, whatever color glitter you want. In this case, I chose a purple one. So I'm gonna add, add a layer. So the plus sign here, it's gonna be an image layer. I clicked that image. I know it went kind of fast there. Sorry about that. Um, where did I put it? I put it in my images over here. And glitter. And there we go. And then you're going to have to, I'm going to zoom out, um, grab your sizing handles and drag so that it covers up all of your letters. Okay. So um, then it says size the image so that it completely covers your text. Select your text layer. Choose select from the top toolbar then select pixels. This is going to select your words. Then we have to go back and invert it because we want the background selected. So first, very important, select your text layer. Make sure it's selected. Go up to select, to select pixels. Okay, so now your letters are selected. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'll show you. I'll put this one as transparent so you can see. Okay, see how my letters are selected? You can see the um, little pixels going around it. Not pixels, I don't know what it is. The little dots, moving dots. Okay, so back to my family level, um, select, invert selection. So the background is selected. And then you simply have to hit the backspace key on your keyboard. Hit backspace, the background should go away. Come on, backspace. Oh, you know why? <laughs> you gotta go to your, go to this, um, I should go to my instructions, blah, blah, blah. Um, select your image layer in all capital letters and then hit backspace to delete your background. Okay, so I have that selected. I'm gonna hit backspace. Now I have the glitter inside my letters. Woohoo, there it worked. Okay. Um, control D to deselect. And then we're going to add what's called an overlay. So let me do a control D really quick just to deselect. All right. So it says add an overlay background. Go to File, Browse Elements, and choose Overlay. Choose a cool overlay. So we're going to go up to File in the top left corner. Go to Browse Elements. And then choose Overlay. And then there are lots and lots of cool overlays. So something maybe that goes along with purple. So you can scroll through and see if um, you see anything that you like, hopefully something you like. Um, I don't know if purple on purple would look good or not. It might be a little little too much purple. Let's see. Um, I don't know, that's not so bad, right? Maybe I should do a different, maybe should I do a different color so that it doesn't blend in so much. Should we try blurry lights? Let's see if we can do a different color. What color should I do for a background? How about a silver? Okay. Um, the reason it looks like this is because right now it's in front, right? It's in front of my picture. Um, but we can always change that in a second. But let me just go back. 
Okay, so then it says make any needed adjustments to perfect your document. You can try making adjustments to the exposure of your glitter layer or your blend mode of your overlay. Um, so like I can go to my blend mode and right now it's on screen. Um, you can try different blend modes to see what different blend modes do. Okay, so there's like an overlay, um, hard light and so on, or I can move my glitter layer on top of my overlay. So you can try a bunch of different things and see um, see what works best for you. But that's the general idea of how you're going to do your glitter. And then you can, when you have it perfect and exactly the way you like it, go ahead and submit it. Okay, good luck.